Greetings, salutations. My name is Drapo. Welcome to another vlog on my channel. My recovery has been a rough one. As you can hear in the sound of my voice, I am still very much sick. The main problem I face is just not having any energy. Even saying words and just trying to eat feels like it consumes more energy than it should. I try to spend a lot of my time in bed to rest so that I could hopefully heal up so that I could go back to making videos. But there's days where I feel like I'm never going to get better. Like as if this is just now a new aspect about my life that I have to just deal with. COVID-19 is kind of a virus that I've never had to deal with before. And it feels different from any other virus I've ever caught. I think the worst part about my recovery was the fever. The doctor said that the fever was a symptom of my first injection from the vaccine and that it was my body identifying the COVID virus and fighting it off. The fever actually lasted a long time. I think it was like five days, six days, but it was consistent. There was never a moment where the fever broke. It was all the time. There was times when the fever would get so bad that it just turned me delirious. There were things that like would appear in front of me that weren't there. Like there was once a door that was floating in front of me and it was knocking. And so when I reached for it, it just turned into smoke. And it, it, it was a, a sign that my fever was getting worse. There was, there was even one time where I woke up from a sleep and I was just sweating. I mean, I was sweating from my fever and I thought to myself, it's okay. Spider-Man, <laughs> Dr. Strange are going to work on this and they're going to make a cure and I'm going to feel better. I actually thought Dr. Strange existed. <laughs> there was a lot of times I thought I was going to die. I remember accepting this at one point, my death. I didn't know what to expect, but the mere fact that I was convinced that I was going to die. This has definitely been a life changing event for me in my life. And I just wanted to be done. Whenever people ask if I'm doing any better, it's kind of hard to say. It's like being buried in snow and you're trying to dig yourself out, but you're not sure if you're digging deeper into the snow or you're successfully digging yourself out. I, for one, feel that I'm just stagnant. The fever did break eventually, and I do feel better. But I do still feel very drained all the time. And I still have a very bad cough. And my voice did come back finally. There was a moment where I couldn't speak, but now I, now I can. I wanted to make this video for so long but I just never really could strum up the energy to do it. And I, I was never well enough to do it. But lately I feel that I was getting well enough to make this video, even though I'm pretty sure my voice is very hard to hear. My, it's very groggly. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. <laughs> I just, I knew I needed to make this video for everyone that needs to know that I'm okay. I am okay. I'm still here. I haven't died. It's funny. 
you take for granted your health. You never really think about it. But it's until you've become so ill to where you can't leave your bed anymore that you realize how good life truly is. How much your health actually matters. And when you re make that realization is when you miss life the most. I'll try and make another video when I feel better. Uh, but for right now, all of this talking, um, it seems to have put me in a state of wanting to go to sleep. So I, I think I'll end the video here. If you've made it this far, uh, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me uh, to have someone watch the video to the end. So thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see all of you when I feel a little bit better.